Vintage Confidential Celebrity Edition, Studio 54, Part 2. Bianca Jagger once rode a white horse through the dancing crowd in a semi-nude Lady Godiva outfit, and that image alone uh, appeared in almost every newspaper across the city. Schrager and Rebel knew that the gay partygoers would initially make or break the club, so leather boys and drag queens and anyone truly outrageous were the core audience. From there, however, it was celebrities, from Jackie O to Jack O himself. Studio 54 was unquestionably the most incredible discotheque ever imagined. Ownership of the club would end for Schrager and Rebel when they were busted for skimming oodles of cash in 1980. It reopened and closed a few times, but the party, as parties always do, finally ended in 1986. Schrager went on to further success, if not a bit more honest, with the opening of boutique hotels around the world. Steve Rubell succumbed to AIDS in 1989. Watch the Studio 54 film where Mike Myers, of all people, gives the performance of a lifetime. Equally impressive is the film's soundtrack that documents both the club and the era with the timeless disco classics such as I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. And, you know, for a while, some of us actually did. <laughs>